Hey guys, so I thought I'd just film a little bit of what I am doing tonight. Um, it's not very exciting, but I just thought I'd let you know what I do on my like day to day. I've just been to work and I've just got back. By the way, I've just had my lips like done yesterday, so they are looking like a bit big and a bit like sore, but I... I flipping love them, but they're going to go down. So if you're thinking what's wrong with her, that's what it is. Um, I go to a, a Maze Aesthetics, by the way. She's amazing if you wanted to go and get maybe a lipstick. Um, but yeah, it's about half one, um, finishing work early. Because I'm self-employed, I'm able to finish kind of when I want. Um, and I'm just going to go in now. And hopefully Lewis has got me a subway because he was meant to get me a subway for lunch. Um, and then later on, Caitlin's coming around to do my hair because I'm getting new hair extensions um, on Monday. So she's coming to like, like color it for me. She colored it the other day, but there's a few bits that just need retouching up. So we're going to do that tonight. And um, I think I'm going to make a dinner, but I don't know what to make her. Um, so yeah, I'll um, film a bit throughout the day. Also, driving home has been the best drive home because there's been Christmas songs non-stop, literally. I've been singing away. It's been the best thing. I can't wait to put my Christmas tree up and everything. Like, I don't know when's, like, the perfect time to put Christmas, like, trees up. Like, some people do... I, if, if it was my house, I'd be doing it the 1st of December, but um, I need to wait until someone can get the tree out of the loft because I'm not going up there. Um, but I literally love Christmas. You've probably already known I'm like a big child when it comes to Christmas. That's why I went to Winter Wonderland yesterday, um, which I really loved, but um, I never really got to explain it in the other um, video. But I I loved it. Like, don't get me wrong, it was so Christmassy. But I think we're better to go at night when all the lights are because, like, it was good, but it was like once you've walked around the shops and, like, that's it, like and had food like that's really it um so we decided that if we go next year we're gonna go with a fr few friends go at night and have like a few drinks so if you're thinking of going i definitely recommend going at night um we'll go in like late afternoon like four o'clock um and then like having dinner there and having a few drinks um so if you're thinking of going that's definitely what i'd recommend because we ended up like going at like 12 and then we just decided we were like oh should we just go at about three o'clock so there's nothing really else to do so we just went walking around london um went into hamley's um which i went in as a kid and i'm sorry but it was definitely a lot bigger when i was a child i know i was definitely smaller so that's probably what it is but it seemed tiny and it was really cute because you'll probably see in the video before that there was little um like well not little the full-grown elves like dancing outside which is really cute really christmasy london is so christmasy um this time of year like literally lights everywhere it was getting me so excited so yeah i just thought i'd tell you a little bit about what, what i did in winter wonderland Got vertigo falling down Cause you're going to my Lewis said get me a subway Thank fuck Cause I'm so hungry Um But I have the literally the most boring sandwich It is Ham and cheese <laughs> That's all I have Ham and cheese Because I don't know I feel like I am a bit boring when it comes to Um food like as you can see in all of my videos i literally just eat pasta i'm like a child when it comes to food to be honest mia will tell you like she gets annoyed with how annoying i am with my food but it's just how i eat this is how i like to eat um my lips i literally love my lips so much i can't stop looking at them lewis isn't that sure he keeps saying oh i don't know if i like your lips i'm like they're small and they'll go down but i literally cannot do this like Oh, I can actually do it more than what I thought, but they hurt. Um, but I literally love them. Look. Oh, my lips. <laughs> Sorry, I really want to go to the toilet, but look. There is a spider in it, and there's another one up there. Anybody else, like, terrified of spiders? I'm not going to go in that toilet. I'm going to have to go upstairs. That's 
literally came into here the other day and um i'm scared of like anything moths daddy long legs anything that's small and flies or crawls or anything i'm flipping terrified of it lewis for some reason when he had a shower he left all the um the windows open to air it out even though there's a button to like air it out he um decided to just open the window and leave it open all day so when i came in to have a shower there was a flipping butterfly in there and then uh, honestly there was a butterfly in there and it was like down here near the um on here and then so i thought all right okay i'll just shut the door and i'll go and have a shower in another room went to go in this room and i was like yep yeah, going here there was another one on the floor and i'm like oh my god we're getting like attacked by butterflies so i was like right I'm just gonna have to sit and wait until Lewis comes. So I sat and waited until Lewis could come and hoover them up. Found out they were dead. So I could have just had a shower and they wouldn't have flown at me. But anyway, it's fine. Um, there is another butterfly. There is another butterfly. I can't handle this. I don't like flying things. Where are they all coming from? And why have we got butterflies in the house? I can't stress enough. I need to go and get the hoover. Where is the hoover? Fucking hell. <laughs> Anyone else's boyfriend just literally love leaving their stuff everywhere. Like he can never, ever take his own cups down. I don't know if it's just my boyfriend, but it flip and pisses me off. I'm just like, just take it down in the morning. He's like, I will. And then he's like, oh, I forgot. Like, how can you forget when I tell you every second of every day, take your cups down, but no. It's just lazy. So I've gone and got my cozies on. Got my little Jack Wills, Jack Wills joggies. And I've actually decided that I think I'm gonna watch either The Grinch or Elf. Because Lewis is going out, so I thought, you know what? He hates Christmas films. Like, who hates Christmas films? Literally, don't. So I'm gonna go and watch that and eat my Subway and my crisps and I'll watch a Christmas film. I'm so excited. Get myself in the Christmas spirit as I'm not putting my tree up yet. I thought I might as well. Get a bit Christmassy. Look how cute it is out there. Like it looks like really Christmassy, don't you think? Or is it just me? Like it just looks, oh wait, no it doesn't. It looks quite sunny, it looks like summer. Oh, <laughs> just looks it from the window, doesn't it? It looks quite, does it i don't know <laughs> don't know but yeah i'm gonna go and put the grinch on i think the grinch i don't know might watch both <laughs> after all that would you believe that on netflix amazon prime they do not do the elf or the grinch so then I thought, okay, all right, I'll go and find somewhere else. I don't do the Polo Express. I don't do Home Alone. Like, what What the hell? It's Christmas. Why the hell do they not have these? It was on um, Amazon Prime, but you had to pay. And I was like, well, I'm not paying. It's Christmas. I want to watch Christmas films. So I think what I'm going to have to go for is after Christmas. Still, I still like it, but I, I hadn't planned to watch that. I wanted to watch the other ones, like Polo Express or something like that, but they just don't do it. So that's really put a downer on my day. But anyway, while I am um, watching this, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Christmas dresses because it's my work's Christmas due next week on Saturday. So I need to find a dress, but I'm finding it harder than what I thought. I thought, right, I'll leave it till last minute because it doesn't matter. There'll be Christmas dresses everywhere. But no, there isn't. Well, there is, but there's just not one that I like, which is really annoying. So I don't know what I'm going to do or what dress I'm going to go for. I was really thinking, debating whether to wear the same one that I wore last year for Christmas. Like, because who, who, who the hell's going to remember? Um, so I might actually end up doing that. But I'm going to sit here with my drink and my crisps and I'm gonna watch Arthur Christmas and look at some Christmas clothes.
She got the brown eyes, caramel thighs, long hair, no wedding ring. Hey, I saw you looking from across the way, and now I really wanna know your name. She got the white dress, but when she's wearing less, man, you know that she drives me crazy. The brown eyes, beautiful smile, you know I love watching you do your thing. I love her hips, curves, lips say the words. Tiamo mommy, Tiamo mommy, I kiss her. This love is like a dream. So join me in this bed The I'm in Push up on me and sweat, darling So I'm gonna put my time in I won't stop until the angels sing See, and these are both really nice I've wanted that before for something else And I could wear it again This is nice Like a silvery But I'm worried it's gonna be a bit rubbish material Do you know, like And I don't have boobs like that so they're not gonna look like that. They're just gonna look like when you have a boob tube and your boobs just go meh. So, mm, um, maybe not. Maybe this one. Let's Maybe let's add it to the bag. Let's add this to the bag. Um, I'm gonna size A. Add to my bag. And off we go again. On this dress, like I need to tear this down because I just realised you probably can't hear me. So I've just gone on to this dress, really nice, but I thought, oh, maybe purple's not really my colour, so I'll go on the black. Mate, that is a completely different dress. That isn't the same dress. Where is there a long sleeve on there? There isn't. I'm so confused. And one's sixteen, and one's nine pound. Um, but I do like this one. It's very different. But then again, I'm still wondering about the quality of it. Like, is it going to be really, like, thin? And I don't know. I don't know. Now, I think this is gorgeous. I love it. Like, I love the cutout. It looks so nice with just some classy, cla classy? classy black shoes, nice black handbag, some gold or silver little earrings. But it's sold out in all of my sizes. So that is really annoying. But I watched Star for Christmas. It was alright. I, I give it a 9 out of 10, I would say. Um, so pretty good, but yeah, I don't know, it was all right. Um, I'm going to go into town now, do some bits, and then I'm going to pick up Caitlin, and then we're going to do my hair. Um, I'm so excited to get my hair extensions, it's unbelievable. I'm not getting them done tonight, but I'm just getting my my hair recolored. Um, and um, wow, that is annoying. So yeah, I'm just going to go and get her now. So, I can't get my lips look. Mm. See you then. Yep. Hello. Have a great night. Lips say the words. Tiamo, mommy. Tiamo, mommy. I kiss her. This love is like a dream. So, join me in this bed. The I'm in. Push up on me and sweat. Down. On the way to, to wash my hair off. So, oh, hope it goes well. Not really, can't really see the colour. It looks luscious. Scoffed some Philadelphia pasta and bacon. So good. So I was Chef Ramsay tonight with my, my um, bacon and Philadelphia pasta. Caitlin loved it. So I'm gonna attempt to wash this off now. So I'll see you in a bit. Looking sleek. Slap rack. Slap rack. Does it look nice? Oh. Hey guys, so I haven't really filmed a lot um, while I was with me and Caitlin because it was quite boring. It was just like me and Caitlin talking and having dinner and her doing my hair. So I just filmed little bits. Um, but I thought to like finish the video, I'll show you my skincare routine. Um, I've had a few people ask um, if I would do it. Um, it's not like a specific thing, like I don't do use special products or anything like that. Um, it's just what I use day to day. Um, I don't every day use this. I probably use them like four times a week. 
Um, I am really bad for just wiping my makeup off and going to sleep with a makeup wipe. Um, but I try and at least cleanse and tone and moisturise my face. I will go to bed with moisturiser on my face every night. Um, I do try and use SPF on my face most days. Um, I do have like a face cream with like a 15 SPF in it. Because uh, I think that's like such a, a big thing. Like sun is massive. Um, so yeah, I try and do that every day. But I just thought I'd show you a bit of my skincare routine. Um, so yeah. Hey guys, so sorry if you're a bit wonky, it's because you're like balancing on the tap. Um, so if that's annoying, I apologise. Um, so this is a product that I really love. Um, I've been using it for probably like six months now and it's really nice you get it from you can get it i got this from holland and barrett but you can get it from i'm sure someone told me that you can get it now in like boots and stuff like that um but it's like all natural and it's like i just feel like natural stuff is like good for your skin and it doesn't have any harsh things in it because my skin is actually quite sensitive like it can sting at quite a lot of stuff and i found that this doesn't sting at all um, so I use, this is a cream cleanser. I actually prefer using like a, a soapy cleanser. I feel like it really like cleans more, but they didn't have any of the soapy one in. So I've gone with the cream and it does the job. So just pump a bit in my hand. Got vertical falling down. Cause you're going to my head. Can I recognize the sound of my own heart calling? I found somewhere, I found somewhere. And I always use warm water to take this off because it opens your pores. And then I do it again. I always do it twice. It's like when you wash your hair with shampoo, you meant to do it twice because this one like gets any like makeup off or whatever. Then the second one properly like goes in. And then, so, same brand, I use um, the facial scrub. Um, sometimes I do use, because this is such a small bottle, because I got it in the summer, so they were like ones that you take on holiday, but you can get big ones, you can get big ones of each thing. Um, so, because I was running out of this, and they didn't have any in Holland and Barrett, um, I brought this brand, which is just from Superdrug, really, really cheap, Superdrug own. Um, just gentle um, exfoliator um, because I got that brand because I use that brand every day to put on my face because that's the, the cream day cream that has the 15 SPF in it so I just thought I'll get the same brand um, I kind of like sticking with the same kind of brands I know some people find like one brand is really good for something and then another brand is really good for their moisturiser, blah, blah, blah. But I prefer to stick to the same brands, especially if I really like and trust in the brands. Um, so that is another one that I use once this one is run out. Um, I wouldn't say that... Oh my God. <laughs> I was about to say, I wouldn't say that they have the best smell, 
Um, but I always feel like the ones with the smell have the harsh perfumes in and everything and that's what irritates my face. So I always feel like the ones that don't have such a harsh like bubblegum smell or something like that, um, they're better for you. Um, that's probably utter rubbish but that's what I think, <laughs> that's what I've like taught, that's what I've like got into my head so that's what I go by um, and it's helped me so far so <laughs> I always have to do so much on my chin because that's where if I'm going to get a spot I gonna I get spots um, even though this one randomly has come um, I think it's because when I went on holiday I was using a completely different brand on my face um, which was annoying um, but sometimes your skin can get like a bit confused and be like well what are you using on my face but if it's not used to it um, you're going to break out because if it's like a stronger product or something like that on your face you're going to break out um, I'm so wonky and I'm so sorry but it's the only way that I can balance my camera on there um, so with this I actually use cold water to take it off um, because it closes your pores so when I take the exfoliator off I will use like cool water And then what I always do to dry it is what I've always been taught to do is never rub your face because that's not very good for your face. You're meant to dab it. So I always dab my face. Oh my God, my earring just fell out. Does that mean the back is gone? The back is still on my ear. Amazing. How did that just fall out? We'll leave that anyway. So yeah, just pat it until it's like pretty much dry. Um, and then I will put a hydrating like toner mist on it, um, which is this brand again. I need some more because it's only a little bit. They sell big ones in this as well. Um, but to spray it on my face, there's not a lot in there. And just let that soak in. Cause that's like a like um, a toner and um, hydrating mist and stuff, which I always feel feels good. Cause after I've like cleansed and everything in my face, I always feel like it feels quite tight. And you should never have your face should never feel tight, cause that's when it's extremely dry. Thought I heard something. Um, and then what else do I do? Then I put my face cream on, which is the same. And this is actually um, a night moisturiser, like especially for night time. I think the night ones are thicker uh, than the day ones. Um, so I just put a little bit on. That's really good for your money because it's massive. And I've had that since the summer and I use it a lot and it's gone down that much. Like it's really good for your money. I can't remember how much it is. Um, I would say they were quite reasonable, um, but like I would say like a big one of this is like £16 or something like that, um, but don't quote me on that. Um, and then before I go to bed, which is this, the same brand again, I just put a little bit of this on my lips, it's just like a, a lip balm thing, especially at the minute after having my lips done, you've got to keep them moisturised. Um, and I do use Vaseline, but this seems just a bit more creamy because Vaseline, I think, sometimes can make my lips feel a bit drier than actually moisturising them. So I normally keep that at the side of my bed, so I just use that every night. Um, but yeah, and then I brush my teeth and then I go to bed. So that is my nighttime routine. And like I said, I don't do it every night. Um, I am like totally that person that wipes their makeup off with the makeup wipe sometimes. Um, but I will try and at least do it about four times a week. Um, I always do it before a night out. Um, cause I always want, like, I feel like my face will feel really fresh. Um, 
and I exfoliate it and stuff. You're meant to exfoliate your face like once a week. Um, so you don't need to exfoliate your face every night because um, that's not very, it's, it will be quite harsh on your skin. Um, but it's really good for if you want like your makeup to stay on and things like that, it like sticks to your skin more because all those dead step dead cells that are on your skin will um, not be there because you've actually them off so it will stick better. Um, so yeah, I really recommend these products. I really like them. They're really good for sensitive skin because I've got quite sensitive skin. As you can see, like areas of it is like quite red. Um, it's not sore or anything, um, but I have got sensitive skin so that's why and I find that these are very good for it. I'm called Real Iconic Teas and they are they do loads of um prints and um everything so cool um i chose this one and uh, i got it in medium um and i would probably say i if i was going to order another one get another one i would say a large because i like mine quite oversized um but i really like it the material feels nice like it seems like a like a decent material for a t-shirt um i yeah i just want it maybe a little bit longer as well um so i think if i was going to go i would go for a large so this is a medium so if you were wanting one um i would definitely go for a large if you're around my size around eight, size eight um but yeah no i really like it um perfect with some black leather jeans or whatever um but you can find them on instagram uh, real iconic tees um, and there's loads that you can choose from and they're all so cool. Um, I found it really hard to choose which one that I wanted. Um, but yeah, and I'll show you the white one. I was going to put the white one on, but actually it's really creased so it doesn't look that great on. Um, but it's really nice as well. Um, I love the print on the front. I think it's really cool. Um, I'm not really a white t-shirt kind of girl. Like, I always would go for a black, um, but I do really like this. I thought it would be really nice in the summer, um, and, like, if it was big enough, I was going to be wearing it as, like, a t-shirt dress with, um, like, boots or trainers or something, um, but I can wear this, like, with a big fluffy coat as well, um, jeans, trainers, like, you can dress t-shirts up, like, anyway, especially ones that are black and white. They're really easy to dress. Um, but yeah, they're both of them and I love them. Video, but I just thought while I'm not doing anything and while um, nobody's here, like as Lewis is at football, I thought I'd just film a bit of my um, my daily like life. Um, my my day basically changes like every day because I'm self-employed, I see different... I just stopped filming then halfway through what I was talking because Lewis rang me to ask if I wanted anything from McDonald's. Um, yeah, it's 10 o'clock and he's at McDonald's. He always goes there every Wednesday after football um, and he always rings me and every time I'm like, oh, I really shouldn't, but I really can't. I can't be like, no. And then he sometimes like comes back with it and I'm like, oh, I really want a bit and I end up nibbling on it and he's like, you should have got something. And I'm like, I know, but it's 10 o'clock and I should not be eating McDonald's. But I did say, can I have some um, cheese melts? They're literally my favourite the cheese melts because they do all different ones like all around the year the cheese melts at christmas are my favorite and they started doing a selection box which i get all the time so i had to get some of those uh, it's a really random order those small chips and a carton of milk i literally love milk i could drink if that was if there was like a thing where it was like you have to choose one drink that you can drink for the rest of your life i would choose milk i love it literally the best thing um, that's probably why I'm a bit chubster because milk's probably not that good for you but at least I'll never break a bone and I actually haven't touch wood I don't know where a bit of wood is but touch wood I've never broken a bone and I, I'm convinced that's because of the milk um, but yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed this a bit of a random vlog but um, that's just how exciting my life gets really um, hopefully um, my next one might be my Christmas party, um, so that one would be a good one to watch because I'll probably just be drunk and being stupid as always. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have, please give me a big thumbs up, show me some love um, and I'll see you soon.